Hey guys, Barry here, and welcome back to your gaming station, Nintendo Impact Gaming. Welcome to a new game called Drowning that's coming out. Is it the 30th of January, if I'm correct? From my good friends, or sometimes you. It's an early hands on exclusive, I guess. But yeah, this is a short game. I guess it deals with kind of stuff like mental health, you know, and a. Uh, what's the best way to describe it? I'm not sure. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Nice looking. Now keep in mind, sometimes you as the, uh, I guess the publisher, not the developer. I still remember the day we first met. I was in year eight and you had no friends. While I was alone, you came and sat next to me. Though you never said anything. Oh, I thought there was going to be more. I hardly recognized you were there. You were quiet, like me. Every time I was alone, you would come and visit. But you wouldn't say anything. Weeks went by. And we can run. And you still wouldn't talk to me. So I ignored you. And you left me alone. It wasn't long after you left until the holidays started. And my family decided to go overseas. It was my first time on a plane, so I was kind of nervous. But I eventually overcame my fear. While we were overseas, we mainly did stuff with our family. It was a lot of fun. I didn't think life could get any better. And definitely not the worst. Definitely not worse. As much as I didn't want to, we had to leave. But all good things must come to an end. arrived home on the last day of the holidays. Life was good. But then school started. <clears throat> and you were there. But you were different. He seemed more confident. But no one liked you. I didn't understand why. He seemed fine to me. Can we go over here? No. So we, we became friends.
Every day, you opened up a little more. And he started talking to me. We became close. Later that week, I told another friend about you. He warned me that you were dangerous. But, but I didn't see how. <clears throat> so I ignored what he said. After all, he barely knew you. Soon after we became friends, he started telling me strange things. He told me one of my good friends didn't want me as their friend anymore. It made no sense. So I just, so I just ignored you, hoping you would uh, leave me alone. Oh, it's still there. Okay, that's cool. But you never did. You kept going. Telling me the same thing over and over again. And you got louder. I started to believe what you were saying. I didn't know what to do. I decided the best thing to do was to let you keep going. And pretend I didn't care. It took a while. But you eventually became a voice at the back of my head. But I couldn't forget what you said. It's like your voice was stuck on an endless loop. And I believed every word. You convinced me that my friend didn't need me. And was better off without me. So I naturally dis distanced myself from him. Thinking that was my only option. Because how do you make someone like you? That truly hates you. Whenever he would start a conversation. I would purposely seem uninterested. So he would talk to somebody else. Somebody he really wants to talk to. It looked like I was being rude. But I was really doing him a favour. I saved him the embarrassment of having to talk to me in front of others. 
and I saved him the effort of being nice and pretending to care. Okay, year nine. I was happy for school to start so I could see my friends. You didn't like seeing me like this, so you disappeared. I never really understood why you kept coming and going. But I was glad you were gone. It wasn't until now that I realised I enjoyed life a lot more when you weren't around. So I became scared of you. And I began to hate school. Music start? Because I didn't want to be friends with you anymore. But I tried my best not to worry too much. Because I knew you loved seeing me like this. School was great at first. <clears throat> I got to hang out with friends I hadn't seen in a while. And I even spoke to one of the new students. Who soon after became one of my closest friends. But then you came along. And he destroyed the run, the fun <laughs> I was having, the run. He told me to stop speaking to people who don't like me. Because all I'm doing... ...are making more people hate me. I thought the best thing to do was to ignore you, was uh, ignore you. So that's what I did. Not long after, I was walking down the school hallway. And I saw the newly, uh, the newly, the new guy standing with a group of people. So I said hi. But he ignored me. It was kind of like when he was embarrassed to know me, even though we were good friends. Well, at least I thought we were. That night, when trying to fall asleep, the thought of the new guy kept crossing my mind. I just couldn't figure out what I did. And all you were doing was telling me how you were right all along. And how I should have listened to you. I didn't even understand why it was bothering me so much. All I knew is that I was losing sleep over something that probably doesn't even matter. Waking up in the middle of the night became normal. And my friends noticed I looked more tired than I usually did. So they asked if everything was okay. But you said to remember what you told me. And be careful what I said to them. So I told them I was fine. Even though I was far from it. Telling no one about you was hard. I really wanted to. But you wouldn't let me. You'd keep reminding me of how I've already made other people hate me.
I didn't know what to do. You want to leave me alone? You knew I was scared of you. And it made you happy. Is that it? It was uh, only a matter of time before you would leave me alone. So I tried uh, to learn how to control my emotions. I was getting quite good at it. And it seemed to make you angry. that I could feel happiness. I thought I finally found a way to uh, remove you from my life. And I didn't need to worry about it, about you coming back. Then my parents told me they were getting a divorce. Okay. This is year 10. After my parents separated, you kept telling me it was my fault. With no one telling me otherwise, it was hard not to listen to you. You said not to tell anyone what happened. Because no one wants to hear or know anything about me or my miserable life. So I kept everything to myself. Even though I desperately wanted to tell somebody. When I tried to sleep, you'd keep reminding me of all the things I could have done to stop this from happening. Since you wouldn't let me sleep, I would distract myself by playing video games. But they weren't as much uh, as fun as they used to be. They felt more like a task or an assignment, rather than a, a relaxation activity. It took way more effort than it used to. But it was the only way to feel life, uh, feel like life wasn't that bad, just for a moment. Jeez. All right. Guessing this is the last one, is it? Year eleven. I found myself uh, getting irritated by everything, with everything. Everybody annoyed me. It was impossible to calm down and relax. But if I wasn't angry at everyone, I'd feel empty and numb. Like a black hole sucking in anything that made me feel emotion.
I was wearing a heavy suit of armor. And every mo movement took a tremendous amount of effort. And was completely exhausting. No matter how hard I tried, I was unable to make to take it off. It was as loud as it was heavy. And I felt like uh, I annoyed everyone, anyone who walked past me. It's like I needed to apologize to anyone who, who dealt with my presence. It was like everyone was annoyed at me and I was uh, letting everyone down. My body felt like I was constantly coming down with the flu. I'd get headaches and feel nause uh, nauseous. I was always in physical discomfort. Whether I was at school, out with my fam family or at a friend's place, I never felt comfortable. What is it? I just wanted to stay in my room all day and start pretending like everything was alright. And I hated socializing. I would avoid social situations like the plague. Yeah, we're just making sure there. <laughs> I never answered my phone or the doorbell, and I declined almost every party invitation. Because every person I avoided was somebody's day to, uh, not ruined. You're 12? I am in the middle of a vast ocean. And I can't keep my head above water anymore. I'm nearly out of breath. No one is going to help me. Every time I swim to the surface and grasp for air. I sink down to the very bottom. Again. And again. And again. And again. 
I have lost all hope. And I don't know what to do. What are you doing? I'm ending everything. Why? Because there's nothing left for me in this world. What about your friends and family? What about the people you love and respect? I'm doing them a favor. No, you're not. You're going to hurt them. You're about to put them through a great amount of pain you've never experienced. Is that what you want? Shut up. You don't know what pain is. There's a reason I'm doing this in the first place. You show up out of nowhere. You put thoughts in my head. And you tell me things that aren't true. And I can't take it anymore. What the hell? Is that it over? No. You've got it all wrong. Okay, what the hell is going on, really?
Alright guys, there we go. That was Drowning. Again by Polyg Polygonal Wolf. guys there we go I'm not sure but I think there's like different endings unless it's different you know endings to per scene if you get me but yeah I just want to make this clear right I guess I guess I'm kind of glad I done this video yeah, on a serious note if you if you guys if any of you, you know, watching, listening to me right now. If you ever feel you need to talk to someone, if you're ever, you know, having trouble at school or whatever, you know, something personal in your life, you know, do feel free to contact me, you know, because, like, 
There is someone that can help you, of course. You aren't the only person that is in this situation. There is other people like you out there that might be going through a certain issue, like a divorce or something, or a breakup or whatever it is, you know. It could be a death even. You know, feel free to, you know, give me a, send me a text, like, you know, send me a message. And, uh, I can, you know, I'll do whatever I can for you. But, uh, thanks for watching. You can, of course, check us out on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. And for more Nintendo and Nindies, keep it right here. Alright, guys. Stay fresh. <laughs>